taking part in the third season of the Gratiot's Grove Archaeological Project and we are in the process of, of trying to uncover what we hope and what we think is the uh, remains of Henry Gratiot and Susan Hampstead's original log cabin cabin site uh, uh, in Gratiot's Grove dating to between 1825 to 1835 or so. Um, so we're, it's a field school so we're working with students from Syracuse University uh, both undergraduates and graduate students uh, to one, learn kind of methods in archaeology and the process of actually doing archaeological survey work, uh, geophysical prospection, uh, and excavation. Um, so they're, you know, they're taking this course for credit, learning this, the archaeological process essentially. Uh, and then we're also, you know, as part of the research focus of the project, attempting to, to find these early sites, you know, part of Gratiot's Grove, to understand a bit better what life was like for the, you know, multi-ethnic miners uh, and other occupants of the grove at this time, it's uh, you know the archaeological work provides a, a different perspective, uh, complementary uh, to what we have in the archive and documentary sources, and some of the great and really rich histories that uh, you know uh, exist for Gratiot's Grove uh, already. The archaeological work provides a very it's a different type or a different line of evidence uh, that gives you a bit more info on, on just what day-to-day -day life was like, you know, to, to live um, at Gratiot's Grove, um, you know, be it <laughs> whether you're a miner or in this case uh, Henry Gratiot, uh, uh, Susan Hampstead and their, their family. Um, so that, we're, that's basically, a, we're in the early stages of a project um, and just trying to kind of get our bearings and figure out if, if you know, what aspect of um, uh, of an occupation or, or the presence in in this region, or uh, what kind of presence at Gratiot's Grove we have, and um, you know what we think we have is a cabin site related to um, Henry Gratiot and Susan Hampstead.